day one, off-grid job. Can't get our vehicles or trucks or any of our tools into this location. We didn't know that until we just showed up. So we're just gonna take a nice walk back in here. <laughs> this is as off-grid as it gets. Following pig trails. Oh, we gotta get all our tools and junk back in here. Wait till I, wait, I'm gonna get Johnny for this one. <laughs> well, this is over the river and through the mud to the job site we go. Oh man, we're gonna get that Johnny Valentine. <laughs> we go get him for this one. Johnny just, you know, if he can't pull his van within three feet of the job, he gets very perturbed. He's probably really, <laughs> he's loving this. We gotta go get another load of tools and solar parts. I just can't wait to see the look on Johnny's face. <laughs> oh. Well, it's gonna be interesting, folks. Sometimes you really gotta go off the grid. So we're doing uh, nine panels. Three strings of three, about 3,000 watts. Using that red PV wire. It's been out for a few years. It's kind of nice. Makes it easy. <clears throat> oh, there goes he. He's pickpocketing tools. All right, so we're going to run from, just to protect the wire before we get to our weather head, we're going to put two RT minis and get that wire protected until it gets up under the array. Yeah. And then we take our wire head move down to our combiner and then into the inverter room. All right, this is gonna be a 24 volt flooded lead acid battery setup. The customer had already pre-purchased everything, so we're gonna make it work. We got a Schneider, how about that Jason Andrade? Connects to SW, it's a little 3000 Watt system, 3 kW solar, it's a 3024, I believe. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I should know what it is. Um, it is a 4024, sorry. 3,000 watts of solar, 4,000 watt inverter at 24 volts. We're just bringing in the, the PV, the solar in here. It's landed in the PV in bus bar, the negatives landed here in the ground. It's already pre-wired, so breakers are in place for the solar and over to the charge controller classic I believe a 150 and uh, so just uh, nice nice little system we're gonna have to vent this closet area and uh, customers gonna paint that and then we got to get over to this little panel so it's just a small cabin in the woods small little man cave in the woods this panel that he's pre got everything wired so he's really looking forward to turning on a, his lights and starting his first fire in his stove uh, we got rain coming just like that's all it does lately is rain so we gotta get these panels up hopefully today get the, the PV up what do we got here nine Q cells 320s and they'll go up right now so I'll show you the combiner outside so this is a nice little DC coupled system in the middle of nowhere. So let me finish landing these wires. I'll go show you the combiner. And then we gotta wire up this battery bank. Some cool off-grid ideas for you. It's a home biogas toilet, bio toilet. And I believe you get it started with some cow manure and then let it go. The gas is plumbed over to the home biogas burner. This is awesome. I want one of these because I got cows and I don't even need to put it in my house. Um, I really want to do one of these home biogas, bio toilet. I don't think this is completely hooked up yet. So that's one really cool thing in here. And then 
The other, which could be in a pinch, I mean, this uses a tremendous amount of power, but it's an on-demand shower, 110 volt. It pulls about 23 amps. It's an on-demand water heater for a shower, and it's 115 volt. Everything in this cabin, this house is 115 volts. So, um, but that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Just an update to this, there's this hose here mm -hmm. that is used, this is basically the flushing system, it's a pump, you gotta put water in here, we're gonna go out and look at the pump and the water system, rain catchment water that is used to keep this full, and then to pump uh, your waste out, you use this handle, and you, oh, it gives you instructions. Okay, that's pretty cool. No paper in here, no paper. so this is just waste pumped out to the biodigester, which is not set up yet, but everything's close. And then, how do we get the gas back into the cooker? How does it get? It just, There's a line that goes from the biodigester yeah. naturally it, back. The what? It, it's just because it's under pressure. Yeah, got it. It'll be under pressure. Nice. The sandbags on top of the uh, biodigester. Oh, the sandbags keep the weight, keep it pressure. Yeah, keep it pressure. force it in so you can cook. Yeah. Oh, cooking on. Biogas. Interesting. Awesome. I haven't done I haven't seen this. This is the first, so I'm very intrigued by it. I think it's time to put my cows to work in a different way. Alright, we're finishing up the off-grid cabin. Wanted to show you where we put our combiner here. We have three circuits. We have uh, nine Hanwa 320s on the roof. Weather head. And then this disconnects for the wind turbine that we just set up and anchored off of here. So, we've got a submersible pump in this tank. You can see how he's catching the rainwater. And then we have a bladder tank. This Electro Vera bladder tank and control for uh, pressurizing. Kind of an on demand little bladder tank. And then he can back feed the house with a spigot that's on behind the black pipe there. So, we just need just need some power and he's got power here to plug in uh, doing a little troubleshooting now inside but time to get out of the water it's just cold nasty raining I think I'm just gonna go lay down in that and just get it over with I'm no, just kidding um so he didn't have a generator inlet but, but we prepped him for a gen inlet here so he can uh, he doesn't even he doesn't have a generator yet but he wanted uh, that so anyhow I think we're wrapping up we gotta carry all the tools out with a little lawnmower mule oh it's just oh <laughs> ah, so nice and moist <laughs> all right I guess this is it uh, we get ready to get out of here guys Yes, yes. <laughs> Everybody's wet, cold. This has um, been an interesting project. Kind of cool. We knew the rain was coming, but we went for it. Time to make a couple trips out to the... Let's just get out of here. Um, I think the, the uh, inverter's buttoned up. There's some electrical issues with the uh, couple of circuits. When you put a vent up high, so the hydrogen goes up through it. Oh yeah, definitely it, high. Okay. And then go up. I'll kind of make it where it's total flush to the ceiling. That way, all of it there will be you know space. Good Trojan Solar AGM batteries, two twenty-four volt paralleled systems. Not doing much, of course. We do have voltage, but no amps because it is raining. So no juice to charge on. When everything's buttoned up here nicely. We put the wind turbine and some instructions for him here. Put the switch in there to, to be able to freewheel it or turn it off or let it charge. So, it's a little rougher than our usual, but not too bad. And uh, this is it. If we can help you, a lot of times people buy a pre made. Um, pre-wired system I should say not pre-made and from alt E or AEE or who knows but then they decide they need a little bit of help we'll be glad to help you 
just let us know and we'll come put it in. And we usually can knock them out, these type, these size systems, in about a day, day and a half, depending on how far we got to travel. Okay, oh, the customer wants to say something about the job. Well, Go ahead, sir. Very happy with the work y'all did, very professional, looks very clean. Uh, y'all did it in a very good manner, very quick time, and I'm thankful and I'm, I'm glad to have power. Yeah, he's yeah, been going without yeah, yeah. power. All right, thank you, sir. We'll we'll pay you now. We'll, we got to give you some money back for that endorsement. A little bit, oh. but we appreciate we appreciate our customers being happy. Oh, going to work. <laughs> We're carrying our tools out. Hi ho, hi ho. Ah. It's through the mud we go. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Well, it's been a different type of job, folks. But we ain't scared. We'll we'll tackle any off grid. Well, I should be careful what I'm saying, shouldn't I? We'll try to tackle most off grid jobs. Well, this one we didn't know. Sometimes we just show up and we have no idea what we're getting into. That's always fun. So we just look at each other and start laughing and say, get to work. Oh, why am I carrying this 500 pound tool bag? <laughs> Dang it. Oh yeah, because I'm fat and I need to lose weight. Anyway, folks, just being silly, trying to get out of here. If we can help you, just let us know. Engineer 775, signing out. Oh, drop.